why a new bill from Congress may give 48 million Americans $5,000, and why your check from the IRS might be larger this year than last year, and even more so going forward. I'll give you all the details in this video. But really quick, if you can, thank you so much for hitting the like button for us. It helps out our channel. Let's jump right in. Here we go. Okay, first up, a new $5,000 tax credit plan could benefit $48 million. And then next, how your tax refund could be bigger this year, and here's why. These are two separate things. We will go over both of these here. First, we will go over the new $5,000 tax credit plan could benefit 48 million Americans. And you probably haven't heard of this one. And no, it is not the child tax credits. So yes, the child tax credits has passed the House and the Senate is working on it. They're just busy. They have a lot of things they're working on in addition to this, trying to fund the government, border bills, and trying to pass anything, Republicans and Democrats, trying to agree on things. So yeah, there's that. Honestly, though, I think that the Child Tech Credit is going to pass the Senate. They just have to put it on the floor. They have to vote on it. They have to have the back and forth hearings where they go through the motions of you know, letting the debates happen and, you know, the amendment process potentially, if they change anything, then it goes back to the House. So, you know, we actually hope that they don't do that and they just pass it. But there's also this new $5,000 tax credit plan could benefit 48 million Americans. Yeah, this is new bipartisan legislation, meaning both Republicans and Democrats back it. Similar to the child tax credits that passed the House with flying colors. It was like a 95% approval rating. Um, so all it needs to do is go to the Senate. Would put money in the hands of almost 50 million Americans who serve as caregivers for family members. Okay, So um, a lot of people would potentially qualify for this. The Credit for Caring Act would reimburse family carers with up to $5,000 in non-refundable federal tax credits to cover up to 30% of qualified expenses that occur above $2,000. Non-refundable credits can reduce a taxpayer's liability to the IRS, but once that hits zero, you don't get any leftover amount back as a refund, according to the IRS. The act was introduced late last month by Republican Senators Shelley Capito and Democrat Michael Bonet from Colorado, as well as several others, Republicans and Democrats, to be eligible as a caregiver, an individual who has earned income for a taxable year in excess of $7,500 and pays or incurs expenses for providing care to a spouse or other dependent relative with long-term care needs. According to AARP, which has worked with legislators on the bill, it would help offset a portion of the cost of caregiving expenses, such as home health aids, adult daycare, home modifications, assistive technology, respite care, transportation, or other support that helps caregivers and their loved ones. So again, this could be a potential $5,000 tax credit for almost 50 million Americans. Also, why your tax refund could be bigger this year and next year, actually, as well. Americans might be getting a bigger tax refund this year and for next year as well. Check this out. A lot of Americans are expecting to receive a bigger tax refunds this year. Taxpayers typically receive their refund if they had too much money withheld or overpaid their taxes, or they got a lot of tax credits and just filed correctly and got all the you know, deductions. And a lot of people don't even get a lot of the deductions that they 
qualified for, like this potential $5,000 deduction if they pass it, the child tax credit, and I have another video about a $7,000 tax credit that the IRS says millions of people qualify for that they don't even know about. I'll link you to that video here in a moment that you should watch. The average tax refund um, received in 2023 with an average payment worth of $3,176 was the average tax refund. It was actually down about 3% from the previous year. But refunds are expected to be noticeably bigger in 2024. Some people receiving up to 10% more than they did the last year, according to Mark Stieber, Chief Tax Information Officer at Jackson Hewitt, would increase the amount roughly three to $400. This is largely because the IRS has adjusted the federal tax brackets they did so last year for this filing year. The tax bracket brackets in 2023 shifted higher by about 7.1%. The historic increase that is also higher than the 5.5% earnings increase received by the median worker last year, which means a lot of people are receiving higher refunds because the tax brackets went up. Also, for 2024, tax brackets are increasing even higher. And the standard deductions are going even higher as well. In fact, for 2024, the standard deductions alone are increasing by $750 and $1,500 for joint filers. So again, for two years in a row, we are seeing very high tax bracket increases, standard deduction increases, and more. So a lot of people are seeing more room to earn more money for these higher tax bracket increases. Yeah. Also, most Americans can file federal taxes for free but only 3% used the option last season. If you didn't know, the IRS has a free file tax option. All you need to do is go to Google, <laughs> Google, and type in IRS free file. You can thank me later, later and just click the first option that says irs.gov free file, do your taxes for free. And literally, do your taxes for free if you qualify and, you know, you know, I, I don't know, maybe there's an income limit here or something like that, $79,000 or less, less or something like that. But if you qualify and you can do your taxes for free, do them for free. Uh, through the IRS site, if you want to, if you prefer using, you know, one of the tax softwares because you think you, you know, might walk you through a deduction or something, of course, use the other site. It's, of course, up to you. But part of what I do here is to help you guys out with as much information as possible. So if you appreciate these videos, don't forget to hit the like button, share these videos with anybody that needs to hear this, and I will keep you up to date here with more information as it comes out. So don't forget to subscribe down below. It's the best price, completely free to do so. Click the bell icon after subscribing so you don't miss out on new videos. Click here to see the video on a potential $7,000 you can get back from the IRS. Click here to watch my newest video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.